Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to do this floral and black lace design. You'll need a thin art brush, a dotting tool, and some polishes. The ones I've used are pictured here and will be listed below. Beginning with a base that's fully dry, you're going to start adding your floral design. And you'll see I'm just mixing a variety of pinks, a little bit of white, and I'm adding some circular shapes to my nail. They're not all the same color and they're certainly not all the same size. I'm putting them nice and close together because I am covering the majority of the black. Now you'll see I've continued adding these flower shapes to my nail, but I've left a gap of black on my nail, and that's where the lace is going to go. Now while that's drying, I'm switching over to my index finger and my pinky, and I'm using my white polish and creating a dotted pattern. I've also done this same pattern on my thumb. Now that my floral base has dried, I'm ready to start adding some dimension to those flowers. So again, I'm using the same palette of polishes, and I'm now taking those mixed colors and adding some curved lines to the flower just to give them a little bit of depth. Continue outlining and adding some shape to each of those flowers until you've completed your full nail. Again, we're still leaving that gap on your nail where we're going to add the black lace. Once you've finished outlining all of your flowers, you're ready to start adding some greenery. I've taken a green polish and I'm adding in between the flowers some leaf shapes. Now I added a little bit too much polish to that one leaf, so I'm just dabbing there to get some extra polish to move around on my nail. Once you're happy with the amount of greenery, you're going to go back in with a lighter shade of green or a darker shade of green and add some dimension just by outlining those leaf shapes. It's important to let things dry between steps. You can't always tell that I'm doing that, but I am allowing my nails to dry. So I just use the brush that comes along with the polish and I add a wide black strip across my nail where I've left that gap. If I need to touch that up, I'm just using my smaller art brush to straighten out those lines. Now to add the lace look, you'll see I'm taking my thin art brush and just creating curved lines, basically arches all along the edge of either side of that black strip. This gives it the lace look. If there's any of your black curved lines that you want to touch up, you can just go in with your different shades of pink and no one will be the wiser. Once this is dry, I then added some large floral designs off to the side of the black stripe. And now I'm finishing off the ribbon look by adding a pink horizontal line in the center. And once that's fully dry, I'm going to add a few small vertical black lines to look like the lace is thread through the nail. Once everything's dry, I apply a top coat. There's a peek at my thumb and the finished product. Thanks guys so much for watching. I do hope you liked this tutorial. Please leave me some comments below. Thumbs up and new subscribers are always welcome.